What's up guys and welcome back to LA Noir. This is Reefer Madness. You know a Freddy Calhoun? Sure, I know Freddy. Freddy needs money to get out of town. Says he's prepared to blow the whistle on a primo reefer distribution ring. Says he Has can. Has he said how much it's gonna cost? 50 bucks. And the department <laughs> will front me the 50? You can put in an expense claim. He's over at Mike Lyman's on Hollywood Boulevard. See what you can find out. 50 bucks for the intel on a huge distribution ring? I'm down for it, bro. Though it does sound like they're on to us. We just planted a bunch of crop in dealer sim. They're gonna come catch us over in uh, in West West Old Town, bro. This is not looking good. Am I going the right way? Where's where's am I? Am I not? We were supposed to go right. Sorry. This is a new department. Not quite used to our uh, our new precinct yet. I think I made of money. No, you just look like you're made of money. Oh, very good. The kid's on form. <laughs> I'd say on a scale of dull to scintillating, you're a solid tedious today, which you can be pleased with. Do you ever listen to yourself? <laughs> I don't have the same voices in my head as you do, Cole. <laughs> I love these two, dude. They're, they're great together. I mean, I, I love the fact that they're so opposites. Like, I really don't like Roy, and I like Cole a lot, so I feel I like they kind of play off of each other pretty really well. Work. Let's go, buddy. Time to roll out. 50 bucks for the intel. Let's get go get this. it. Middle of the afternoon, this crazy woman decides to set fire to the hotel she lives in. The fire brigade come and put it out. A couple hours later, she does it again. Phones up Central and says, I've set fire to my hotel twice today. You'd better come and get me. <laughs> <laughs> Did they send some uniforms around to get her? No, that's the best part. The desk sergeant, he gets his share of crank calls, says, all right, Lady Nero, why don't you come on down here? <laughs> An hour later, she shows. Hair still smoking, clothes smoldering, smelling like a brush fire. <laughs> Sounds like she might be off her rocker. I'm pretty sure we're going to be on the arson squad at some point. Get promoted to it. But here we go, Mike Lyman's bar. Let's go give this dude 50 bucks and he's he's gonna blow the whistle on the uh, the whole ordeal. Who do we have to talk to is the question. There's a the little snake. That's him in the back, Cole. Him in the back? That cherry pie was deep. This guy right here? Freddy, you're looking good. You're gonna help me, right? That's what I'm here for. You got the money? The 20? Sure, right here. 20? I said... You want the money or the alternative? Tell us about the reefer, Freddy. Who's he? Another good Samaritan. Answer the question. Grass comes from Tijuana. They bring Makes in sense. 50 pounds a week. 50 pounds? Are you hallucinating, Freddy? Get stashed at a house at 1452 North Las Palmas. Names, Freddy. The guy at the house is a spick that goes by the name Juan Garcia Cruz. Juan Garcia. He likes guns. Oh. Get my money. Do me a favor, Freddy. Spend the money on a bus ticket. You can't last forever on a snitch jacket. <laughs> Let's That's go good advice. Cruise character. 50 pounds of dope. Crazy. All right, so these guys are, are moving big numbers here, which means there's big money involved, which means there's a lot at stake. According to our snitch here, guy likes guns, so this, I mean, he's, he's probably not going to be very happy about us snooping around. I got to be careful. Story? Sure. A hophead like Freddy would raffle his sister for his next score. Let's go check it out, see if he's being real with us. Can't take that right now again. Like I've said before, I think after we're done with everything, we'll probably check out some of those side missions. I hope they're, they're still available. I feel like it'd be fun, but I just, I kind of want to want to focus on our main missions while we've got them, you know what I mean? Looks like this could be the spot. Looks like a pleasant home. <laughs> Call for help. I'll try to find a way in. 
Homie is popping off, no questions asked. He's got that Tommy gun. He's gonna have to reload eventually. Oh, shoot, that was the guy in the second window. Got him there. Oh, kind of, not really. Stay down here. We're good. Hit him again. He's still not down. Oops. We're hitting. We're getting hit, bro. He's down. All right. Let me, uh... Kill a cop. That is the electric chair. Shoot. I don't think we're going to be able to get him here. I think, I think we're going to have to move. Stay down, Trev. Stay down, Trev. Stay down, bro. Roy's got our cover here. All right, we're good. You guys think we can... We can, like, come around behind him or something like that? Gotta make sure we go back and get our hat, too. Ah, shoot. Bust down the back door. Oh, my gosh, dude. I thought we were dead. Forcible rear entry. I thought we were 100% done so right there. I didn't think he'd hear us. I'll ask you politely to move on. Next time I won't be so nice. Who just opens fire in the middle of a suburban neighborhood like that? You guys don't half leave a mess. What happened? Dope peddler, Juan Cruz. You open fire and, well, the rest of the story tells itself. Like a boss. All right, well, let's, let's search around. Obviously, this soup company is not really a soup company. I don't think this guy's got a soup fetish. I think he's he's maybe moving it through the soup or something like that, Breaking Bad style. Except with soup instead of those pollos and manos. Let's see what we have here, anything? No, nothing in the hands. What about, uh, looks like we can check each jacket pocket. We've got a wallet here. Juan Garcia Cruz. Juan Garcia Cruz. This is his address, but this place looks like a front. For sure. No, this this isn't this isn't somewhere that he lived. Looks like there's nothing else in the wallet we can check out. Throw that back in there. Let me check his left pocket. His jacket pockets are sneaky, bro. A silver dollar. I thought they took these things out of circulation. Hmm. It says ma Massa. It says Massa something on there. Okay. Looks like we're gonna pocket that thing. <laughs> That's funny. Anything in his other hand? Nope, don't see anything. All right. So I do believe that takes care of the body. Let me check out, uh, can I just look at these boxes I was gonna say, but what is this? Masenke? Is this a drug or a village in Borneo? Doesn't appear to be in Spanish. Yeah, never heard of that before. Looks like they like to participate in beer and look like some spaghetti or something like that. Can I, I can't check out the boxes. Really? I feel like the boxes are the sketchiest. Oh, there we go. Parnell Soup Company. Doesn't anyone eat regular meals anymore? Junkies feeding on popcorn and grasshoppers living on soup. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> kind of a reference to the last one. Oh, wait, hold on. Can we... It looked like we might be able to, to investigate it further or something. Nope. Okay. So let's head on back through here. Looks like we have more weapons. Yeah, these guys were... Optimistic, Cole. Were locked and loaded. Windows open, ready to blast. Hmm. Probably nothing. Pencils. What do you need pencils for? More of the soup things, okay. Hmm, I'm gonna check the, I guess we could check this room first, then we definitely wanna check the backyard. Um, got a newspaper here. Maybe these are the guys keeping Juan so well stocked with soup. Interesting, okay. Might have to go pay them a visit. Looks like we've got more of the boxes. I'm trying to, 
try to see everything we can. Yeah, the beds aren't even put together, bro. Like, this this is obviously just a, a temporary holding house or something. See what's in the kitchen. We've got a uh, dictionario here. Espanol, uh, English. It's not going to do anything for us. Lots of beer. Lots of ammo. Nothing significant. Bennington instead of Remington. It's funny. Um, got some clothes in the back. A little sink. More beer. Anything on the porch back here? Nope, not really. Let's check the backyard. Got a little water spigot there. Nothing there. Ooh! Kick that thing open, baby! Okay. Sounds like there's stuff on the wall we can mess with. Sugar nails. I think this is going to help us. So you got weed inside the stuff or something? Nope, just screws and nuts and bolts. The like. Washers. All kinds of stuff, all right. Is there... <laughs> Do this... <laughs> I mean, you want me to pick up every single one of these things? What is this, corn? Seems irrelevant. There's got to be something here. They wouldn't make this interactable if there wasn't something. There. Oh, Jesus! Huh. Phelps, you jump like a girl. <laughs> I did too, and it, it sounds like you did as well since you're making fun of us, bro. There's, there's got to be some. I, I hope it wasn't just for a jump scare. Now we're getting somewhere. Secret door. All right. Still getting the investigation chimes, but I think we, we got that part. Can pick this, is this a can opener? This is a can opener. There's gonna be weed inside. Yes, got him. Got that AK-47-420. I'd say that's pretty good value for 12 cents. <laughs> Factory sealed. Someone at the cannery has a lot of explaining to do. Yep. <clears throat> so this is how we've been distributing our stuff from, uh, from dealer Sim. Should we open this one up as well? See, uh... See if we have any other drugs at work or anything. So this is a green label one. It's got the same green inside as well. Nothing crazy. Soup of the pot. All right. Anything else interesting in here? Parnell Soup Company Delivery Ledger. All right. With Juan dead, we need a new suspect, Cole. Is there a pattern to the deliveries? Looks like, uh, looks like EJ orders a lot. Also from, e EJ's from Tijuana. This guy, EJ, seems to be bringing in most of the serious weight. The dates and times seem pretty regular. We should notify the border crossing. Might be able to catch most him in the act. Are probably in on it. Let's wait and see how this plays out. It's not a bad idea. I'm trying to see if we could check that radio over there. We know people like to hide stuff in radios. I think there was one more section over here we could inspect. I mean, this one has, like, a lock on it. But I think... I think these are all just kind of a front for the secret entry. I, I think we're good with that. I think we're pretty much done here. The music stopped and everything. So that's our, our sign that we're able to, to kind of move on. So let's let's get out of here, Roy. Come on, buddy. We're definitely going to be going to, uh, we're going to, be going to the, the Parnell's Soup Company factory here. So we've, we've got our destination set and uh, let's let's roll out, dude. Something, something's Probably wrong here. The morphine is still turning up. Makes sense. We have no idea how much of the stuff Lenny shifted. There's been no comeback from Cohen as yet. Maybe Confidential Magazine is right, and Bugsy is on the slide. You read that stuff? I wouldn't say it to his face if I was you. <laughs> that is one hot-tempered son of a bitch. Interesting. The morphine's still moving around, but yeah, dude, something, something's wrong here. So obviously they're, they're bringing the, the weed in. 
and then they're they're they've got some sort of a deal with this soup company to be sealing it in these cans i don't know if the soup company's behind it i don't know if they're just getting a, a cut you know they're getting getting paid for their services who knows but we're about to find out parnell's soup company dealing more than just your minestrones they are uh they're guilty in some way that's for sure right Let's see if we can find out who's been over-seasoning the soup in this place. Over-seasoning? LAPD. Who owns this factory, ma'am? Mr. Parnell. Uh, Howard Parnell. I'll let him know you're here. Please, take a seat. If you don't mind, we'll come with you. Yeah. If you must. He's not going to be running on my watch. You just wanted a follower, didn't you? You sly dog. I must apologize for my partner's roving eye. <laughs> she hates up, saying goodbye, but he loves watching them leave. <laughs> Give it a rest, Roy. If you could show these men in to see Mr. Parnell, Doris. They're from the LAPD. How are you How doing, are you Doris? Doing, He's definitely got some, some fine secretaries. What is going on? Hello, sir. Just LAPD. got a couple of questions to Good ask type, you. Fatso. You could be in very serious trouble. <laughs> There's no reason to be rude. Take a seat, gentlemen. I'm sure we can sort this all out. Maybe you can explain why we found $5 bags of marijuana in sealed Parnell soup cans. That's an outrageous allegation. How do you explain it, Chubby? We found at least 30 cans, all sealed up tight with your label on them. Can I get a list of your employees? Of course. We have nothing to hide. Doris. Can you bring me in the current employee listing? Here it is, Mr. Parnell. On the desk. Mm. Get it, girl. Okay. Let's take a look at these employee records here. I, I like what I see out of this company so far. Um, hmm. Gusto Martinez, Oliver Bird, Alejandro Mendoza. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Jorge Garcia Cruz, right here. Interesting. This is familiar. 1452 North Los Palmas. A uh, Jorge Garcia Cruz. All right. Let's talk about these soup cans, sir. The factory sealed cans we found suggest a very professional operation, Mr. Parnell. We're looking for an inside man. I know nothing about this. I want this stopped as much as you do. He looks really confident, but I feel like he's lying. He is kind of shifting in his chair a little bit. Like his gait, he's he's definitely holding eye contact, but he's shifting around. I think he's lying. Tell me what I want to know, Parnell, or I will have half the LAPD down here tearing this place apart. You're hiding something. Am I right in thinking you would not want to pursue misdemeanors outside your drug case? Depending on what you call a misdemeanor, we might be prepared to turn a blind eye. The truth is I employ a lot of illegals. No one wants to do menial work anymore. Most of my factory staff are wetbacks. That's an offensive word. And Chicanos all want jobs in aircraft factories. Presumably because the pay is a lot better. <laughs> yeah, this guy's How are your scummy. sales, Mr. Parnell? Just fine and dandy, son. We're entering a new era of prosperity. I hope you're both big soup eaters. Gonna watch him here. Fidgeting again. He's lying. Mr. Parnell, do you know what kind of trouble you're in? Come clean with us. Okay, so things are a little flat. We're deciding whether to lower production. And that's why you're spicing things up, huh? To not having any military contracts. You know, we sold Uncle Sam five million cans of minestrone. That's not bad. That's good business. Ever heard of Juan Garcia Cruz? Not that I know of. He has a brother employed here. You know him? Juan and Jorge. We employ large numbers of Mexicans. I, I'm not familiar with them all. Hmm. Kind of feel like he could be telling the truth there. That makes sense with the other stuff he said. He's not really fidgeting. You're not the type of boss who talks to his workers? I am, but a lot of them don't have much English. Got that wrong. So he does know him. 
Tell us about Jorge Garcia Cruz. Jorge? I had no idea of his last name. His team does daily maintenance on the conveyor belts and cookers. He's kind of fidgeting again. You're being Shoot. made a patsy by a dope ring, Parnell, and you're happy to sit here and let it happen. You want my help? I said I'd help. You want to call me names? You can go fuck yourself. <laughs> All right, we got those two We'd wrong. Like to take a look around the factory floor, Mr. Parnell. I hope we won't have to shut down the line. No, nothing like that. Thank you. I'm grateful for that. I'll show so wait you a second, myself. dude. He was telling the truth at the end. He was fidgeting all over the place. That doesn't make I hate sense. Seeing how things are made. This is gonna be like that time I went to the slaughterhouse and couldn't eat steak for a week. <laughs> Just a week, huh? All right. So we're gonna go down to the production line here. We're gonna see what we got going on. I've got a feeling he's got a hand in it. I don't. I don't trust that he doesn't know what's going on. All those questions kind of imply that he does talk to his workers regularly. He's a pretty well-to-do, pretty involved boss. There's no way you couldn't tell that people had bags of of the Mary this Jane going the into these. Comes in. We peel and sort all of the vegetables and add them to the line in regular quantities. Fascinating. Hmm. Where's Jorge at? This place Why don't is you awfully keep messy. Quiet. Might learn something. Oh, good God. This really is turning into some nightmare school trip flashback. This is kind of like a field trip type vibe. Not the most interesting one in the world either. This is the hopper, which boils and purees the vegetables. The other hopper is for the pasta. This way, please. You're loving this, aren't you, Phelps? Your boy loves him some Italian food. Automatically into cans. Next stage is labeling. I'd like to see the packing and dispatch area, if you don't mind. Sure. It's over here. Follow me. I'd also like to speak to Jorge, if we could. This is one of our dispatchers. Sergio, right? Yes, sir. So he does know his guys. These men are from the LAPD. Sergio here records our outgoing deliveries. They all go in the book. Just there on the desk. Well, let me take a look at that first. Let me see if we have anything repeat here. Repeat business in large amounts, Cole. Repeat business in large amounts. Bunch of 15 boxes going to North Highland, it looks like, in Hollywood. What's going on, Parnell? There's enough soup going to this place every day to feed a company of Marines. What are you talking about? I'm gonna talk to this dude here. He's playing with a coin. Can I have a look at that coin? Sure, why not? Tell me it's a silver dollar. Silver dollar, right? Yeah, that's right. The markings on it say it's been taken out of circulation. Maybe. I'm not trying to buy anything with it. I like it. Brings me luck. Didn't bring luck to your boy. That's for sure. Let me ask you a couple of questions here, Sergio. What are you doing with these soup cans? Do you have access to the canning area? I do. But I keep to my station. Loading and unloading. Don't care much for soup. Fidgeting, moving his head back, he's lying. Sergio, if you don't give me something, I'm gonna go to immigration services and have you deported. I get a shipment once every two weeks. Ernesto does the driving. I don't know his full name. Gets delivered here at night, or he gets it canned up. From here, it gets sent all over the country. So maybe the owner is innocent. If it's, if it's coming in at night, he wouldn't be here. What do you know about the 20th century market? Nada. I get the orders from upstairs. I send the goods where I'm told. And you don't know Juan Garcia Cruz? No, <laughs> not me. Yes, you do. Do we have anything that we could accuse? Oh, the, the coins, yeah. Accuse him. You're a liar, Sergio. 
You're in it, and I'm gonna break you for it. You're loco, Blanca. I got nothing to do with Juan Garcia. You just happen to carry around the same coin that's no longer in circulation. Let's talk about that. We found a matching silver dollar on Juan Garcia. What are the odds of that, Sergio? Juan and Jorge are in brothers. They're cousins. They work for some evil gabacho. The guy is an aberration. He gives out the silver dollars. Jorge gets me a list of deliveries every morning. 20th century is always on there. You keep your mouth shut for today and I don't take you in. Do we have a deal? Do I have a choice? <laughs> Is that a serious question? All right. That's it for now, Sergio. If we need to speak to you again, we'll put in a call to Mr. Parnell. If you have to, I guess. So he's he's we will be working with Mr. us. Parnell. It is imperative that things appear as normal here. Keep an eye on Sergio in case he gets tempted to blow the whistle. Thanks. I'll do that. You're going to overlook my little immigration problem, aren't you? Cheer up, fatso. We're gonna let you go on squeezing these poor saps a little while longer. Well, until some commie union types infiltrate this place. I'm still not 100% convinced that he's not involved, but I do feel like he's, I feel I like he's clean. out of that place. I never knew fresh vegetables could smell so bad. He's more worried about his, his worker problem, which, I mean, is equally kind of a, a bad thing. Not equally bad, but it's definitely a bad thing he's taking advantage of these poor dudes. So we got to watch out for that. But uh, in terms of, like, being a part of a giant drug ring, I, I think he's clean. All right, so where are we going to go next? Uh, ooh. How many years have you been in Vice, Roy? Why does it say that that's not done? More years than I want to own up to, Phelps. I'm wondering if it's because we got the questions wrong. I feel like we... You have any idea who Rojas was talking about? The gringo runs the operation? Could be anybody. You don't expect those morons to be running the show, do you? I mean, that's kind of mean Ro to say. how much a silver dollar is worth, he'd probably say 50 cents. I don't like this guy. I, I feel like... I feel like this... The, the factory's probably not done because we got some questions wrong. Or do you guys think we need to go back in? I think we're good, bro. We, we could go back to the soup company if we need it. I can't imagine because, like, most of that was just kind of... It was like a, a walkthrough, you know what I mean? We didn't really have a chance to stop and look at anything. So maybe we were supposed to go back and double check. Maybe not. I don't know. I think I think we're fine, though. I think we have some good leads here. And we just need to, uh, just need to follow up, baby. Let's just keep doing our thing. Go ahead and cut on through here. Let's see if we can go put a uh, put a person behind this. Ooh, cut that one a little bit short, but we're fine. So here we are. Made it to our objective. Twentieth Century Market. Sit tight. Let's take a look at what's going on. Gonna scope it out. Guy in the red shirt looks sketchy. Yeah, these customers are serious soup lovers. <laughs> or I think we found our middleman. Car 11 King to KGPL. Car 11 King, go ahead. I'm requesting assistance in a B wagon at 20th Century Markets, 1558 North Highland. Numerous narcotic suspects. Code 2 only, no sirens. 11K, Roger. Okay. Cavalry should be here any minute. About to bust all these fools. They're coming in a little hot, aren't they? Kind of scared everybody LAPD, off. Nobody move. I'll take my chances. Oh, heck no, bro. All right, I'm after him. I'm after him. Don't you worry, he ran left. Oh, this dude's slow. Might need a, a change in occupation, bro. The street life ain't for you. This is our easiest chase yet. Whatever you're carrying, hand it over. He's got that dope. I'd say he's got about half a can left. I guess that makes me a pessimist. You can't take me in. Take you yes, in. I can. Be glad he didn't shoot you. 
I wouldn't have chased you. If it was up to me, you'd be talking out of a hole in the back of your I head. I want information. Senor, I would like to help you, but I got a family in Mexico I have to provide for. And my compadres are very unreasonable. Your compadres? Turn out your pockets. He's got a silver dollar. I need Ray to run down these silver dollars. Okay. I need to make a deal. I need guarantees. You have identification? Take a look at who this guy is. Sanchez Erto. Erto Sanchez. Tijuana address. He could be one of the guys running it up here, huh? Interesting. Here's the deal, Erto. You give me information, and I won't give you to immigration. <laughs> Dropping hot bars on these fools, bro. Let's talk about your knowledge of EJ. Give me EJ, the driver bringing in the shipments, or I'll make you for it. I run the shop. That's all I do. You're lying. How about the fact that you have the Tell same the coin as everybody truth. else? You are in this with the others. I told you I know them. I told you my family's at risk. What makes me part of their gang? You all have the same dang dollar, bro. You have a silver dollar, Erto, just like Juan. I'm sure Ernesto and the rest have them as well. The silver dollars are his mark. Whose? Give me a name. None of us are allowed to see him. His creatures carry his orders to us. If I gave you his name, I would be buried alongside my wife and children. If you don't give us something, you will rot in jail while your family starves on the street. Ernesto Juarez, tonight at 1 a.m. He's bringing the truck into the soup factory. Please help me, sir. Ernesto can be very cruel. Oh, we got you. We'll take care of it. Tell me about the soup cans. The soup is very popular, <laughs> as you can see. I don't think we're talking about the soup here, bud. You're lying. The real funny, wise guy. You want to try saying that again with no teeth? I get a delivery at 7.30 every other day from the factory. Jorge organizes everything. So Jorge is We know about Jorge and Juan. Juan is dead. Tell us how you know the Cruz boys. Ernesto put together this thing. He brought in Juan. Juan brought in Jorge. He seems sincere. Continue. I was already here. Ernesto knows I'm illegal, so he threatened to report me if I didn't help. Dang. And the money is good. That's so sad, dude. The gringos and the gringas, they love the reefer. And I didn't want to have to leave and start again in San Francisco. You're breaking my heart. That actually is pretty sad. He didn't have a choice. There, I'll speak to the DA and see if he will agree to not seize your assets or deport you. That's the best I can do. I mean, you always have a choice, but at the same time, he didn't really have a choice. Like, he's trying to provide for his family and stuff, and somebody calls him out and says, like, hey, you're either going to be deported back to, to, you know, Mexico, you're going to be poor, you're not going to have any opportunities, or you can just kind of let this slide a little bit and take some of our shipments. I think, I think most people in his position would feel kind of, kind of pigeonholed. So at 1 a.m., we've got a, a delivery coming in here. By the big dog Ernesto. Freddy said they were moving 50 pounds a week. That's a lot of soup cans. I think this is an interstate operation. Moving dope around the country to selected grasshoppers. Local weed gets distributed in the usual way, through Pachuco street punks. Someone must know something about this drug baron character. Here they come. Oh, they're early. Is this Ernesto here? And I wonder if the company owner is here. I want to know if he's still involved. Let him unload the goods first. Now, let's get him. Oh, shoot. We got the cavalry with us, baby. It's about to get real hot up in here. Gonna follow these guys around. All police vehicles are equipped with shotguns retrieved from the trunk. When the situation demands, well, that sounds like a uh, a hint if I've ever heard one. All right, move, move. Oh, we've got a Tommy gun no. too. I'll take this. Yes, sir. All right, we're off. Everyone into position. 
guys in there. Okay, Got gentlemen, we'll take the lead. You cover us. LAPD, put your hands where we can see them. Throw out the guns. Go. Oh, they're shooting, bro. Hold on. Let's go up. Yeah, good, good idea, bro. We're going up top. We have, uh... Well, where are you going? Okay. We'll take it. Trying to pop this dude's head. There it is. So we we've got a we've got a bit of a bit of a high ground situation here, which is good for us, obviously. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. All right. Go ahead and reload real quick. Get back down. Got a guy inside the office there. Got a guy. On the outside, shoot, we're getting shot at from all angles. Let me get a little bit better cover here. How long do you think you can hold out? He gone. He's down. One on this backside over here. Oh, shoot, we're going down. Okay. Be careful here, Trev. We do have a nice, a nice flank on him. Shoot, he saw us. Got him. All right, dude, that was pretty fun. We haven't had a gun, like a big gunfight like that yet. I've had a few, but these guys really like their guns. That's for sure. Detectives, found something here you probably want to see. What? It's the guy we shot in here. Aha, there's a silver dollar in his hand, huh? Look at that. ALS. For dead man. Doesn't seem like much for a human life. Okay. Looks like we've got some sort of a pocketbook or a wad or something here. Ernesto Cecilia Juarez. Tijuana address. We should see what the federales have on it. Yep. Sea of Grass Premier. He's a man of, uh, of high education there. Likes going to the theater. Check his other hand here. Looks like it's nothing. Okay. So why was he in this office? Is there anything in this office Damn. to give him away? I think we found our stash, Cole. Take a look in these boxes. Okay. Whoo! At the very minimum, another 50 pounds. Look at that broccoli, baby. Detectives, I think we got the guy. Does the name Cruz mean something to you? For sure. It certainly does. You follow him. The question is, where do we go next? I feel, I mean, we, we got the guy, but I, I feel like it's almost like a dead end. You know what I mean? All right, so there's another dead guy over here. Okay. So this must be, oh, is it Sergio or Jorge or which one was it? Matt. Yet another silver dollar. It's weird how they all have different different names on them. Looks like he's got a thousand dollars here. Nice chunk of change. Phelps, Earl. Looks like quite a bloodbath. What was this all about? Drugs and money. What else? Speaking of money, where did that roll go? I picked it up for safekeeping. The department owes me 50. <laughs> Ray, I have another two coins for you. Great. I've got something to show you. It's all set up on the table over here. There. Take a look at these coins you've been collecting. There are letters cut into each coin, along with not legal tender. Oh! Those are Morgan silver dollars from the 20s. They were removed from circulation and sent for disposal. A number of smelters around the country had the contract. Look at them together. Can you work hold, out what it says? Hold on a second. Let me check my, not locations, oops. I want to check out the, uh, I want to check out the clues here. Masanke. 
Not ma- I thought it was masking K, but it's Masang K. So we're, we're looking for the ANG. We're gonna put this over here. We're gonna grab this. Move this here. Masang K. The first coin, M-A-S. The second, A-N-G. The third, K-A-Y. The fourth, M-A-T. Metals. The fifth, A-L-S. Masang K, Metals. So that's our next clue. A metal foundry. Would you like the address? Nice. Would I ever. 1034 Vine Street, Hollywood. We'll finish up here. It's already been a long night, Phelps. See if you can talk them into giving themselves up. Judging on everything that's happened so far, I think I, I think there's there's going to be another another bloodbath. Masenke Metals. So that's. I mean, we we've met some of the the middlemen here. That must be. The primary spot. I don't even know how to get out of here, bro. How do we get out of here? Somebody, somebody, please, please escort me out of here. How do I? I should have followed. Oh, he's over here. Okay, I was gonna say I should have followed Roy because it seemed like he knew where he was going. So Masanke Metals, which we probably could have picked up on on the very first clue when we found Masanke written on that piece of paper in the dude's the dude's house. And look at that, we were able to to cross off the soup factory as well. Perfect. Alright. <clears throat> so now we go off to Masenke Metals. Cash doesn't weigh you down. It's your priority, straight Phelps. We're close to bringing in one of the biggest dope cases of the year, and you're worrying about unsubstantial evidence? I mean, why not, bro? His cash can't trace it. Might as well. Just down the street, huh? Masenke Metal Foundry. Locked. We need another way in. This looks sketchy AF. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let me grab, can I grab the gat? Nope, can't grab the gat, okay. So we gotta find another way in. Mm. Looking for like a hole in the fence or something. Ah, I see it. Got a break in the barbed wire over here. Yep, that'll work. We're just gonna knock on the front door and waltz in? Nope. That's boarded up. Looks like we can use that drain pipe if we need it. I think that's on a different building though. Cover the back door, Rook. Hey, who the fuck is that? Oh, I'm Papa Fools, bro. Might have been a little a little premature, not gonna lie, but they they started running and moved the table over like he was gonna use it as cover. I don't I don't play those games, bro. Is that it? Straight blasted, homie. Hold on a second. Might be more back here. You lead the way, Roy. You okay? I'll tell you when I see what's waiting for us at the top. Stay down. Bro, what the fudge? I can't... I can't really hit him from this angle. Here we go. Looks like he's got a bunch of dope bunch back of there, too. Stay down, Roy. What is it? Nobody off to the right. Catch a he gone. Bro, is this serious? These guys are just all over the place, just ready to pop. No clue where I'm getting shot from. Is it up? It might be up top. I'm going up top. Put your weapons down and your Stay down, Chuck. Shoot, there's two of them.
One behind this thing? Is that everyone? Bro, this is outrageous! You good, Roy? We've never done this much shooting in a mission ever. You good to go, bro? Let's check it out! LAPD, hands up! Victor Sanders. You know this guy? I should have known. Of course I know Roy. Roy and I have had an arrangement for Get many up. years. You're under arrest. Am I? No. This we have a mountain of prima facie evidence, as well as the testimony. You'd be surprised how things have a habit of sorting themselves out. Evidence disappearing. Witnesses that can't be found. Policemen that forget. The impossible becomes probable when you have a client list like mine. Shut your mouth. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Don't tell me that Roy's gonna let him go. Working vice can be a thankless task, Bell. He didn't. But on behalf of the brass and the moms and dads and the concerned citizens, I'd like to commend you and your partner for smashing this dope ring. Reefer is almost as big a threat to the children of this city as comrades. <laughs> sure. What about Sanders, Lieutenant? Leave Sanders to me. They're Bell. letting him go. The chief will be looking after that one, personally. He will be brought to trial. Phelps, we are celebrating your success. Don't push your luck. Sanders is no longer your problem. This is so messed up. I... It's, it's corruption. I knew I didn't like this vice segment. I didn't like Roy and I... Man. Even without Victor Sanders, the Parnell soup pot bust is guaranteed to go down in LAPD history. They're going to let him go. Are you kidding me right now? I hope sometime we can we can make the police department for what they are. Your Flashback to war. Of recon. I'm folding you into the 22nd. You'll be going up that damn hill tonight. We're intelligence gathering, sir. I don't need intelligence, son. I need men who can hold rifles and kill Japs. Tonight, you're a rifle company. We've got cooks, mechanics, and stretcher bearers all going into the line. We aim to break them tonight, Lieutenant. Hmm. Sounds like this might be the mission where he becomes a war hero. Good to see you, Hank. You too, Cole. How's your war? Not quite what I expected. As long as I live, I will never get over that sound. Hey, who's that medic? He'll be killed going out there. It's Sheldon, the guy from the Osakawa Bridge. That guy's got no fear. <laughs> Is this a Hacksaw Ridge reference? He didn't make it. I didn't go out there to save him. What are you saying, man? I went out there to put him out of his misery, to ease his pain. Do you have a problem with that? Murder, Corman. That's war, Lieutenant. Smell the stench. Feel the horse breath on your neck. You need help, man. Call for me tonight, Lieutenant. When you're up on that hill. I've been up there three times already. The circles of hell have nothing on Sugarloaf Hill. Get this madman out of my sight! <clears throat> All right, guys. Well, there you have it. Thank you guys for joining me on this mission. That was honestly one of my favorite missions yet. Lots of shooting. Still some good police work and, and figuring things out, but that, that was fun. I enjoyed that. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.